Hi everybody, my name is Ross LaFleur, and my family and I make Carrie Drew and Pig Stand Barbecue Sauce in Ville Platte, Louisiana. Today I would like to share with you my recipe for chicken and sausage gumbo using our Carrie's Original Dark Roux. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start out with one medium onion chopped, half of a green bell pepper chopped, two cloves of garlic that have been minced, half a cup of chopped green onions, and a quarter cup of chopped parsley. We also have one pound of smoked pork sausage and three pounds of boneless skinless chicken thighs. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add into my stock pot 64 ounces of low sodium chicken broth and 64 ounces of water. Then we're gonna start heating up our broth and water mixture in our stock pot so that way the water will be ready for us to dissolve our roux in. So here I have, I'm scooping out of our 16 ounce jar of Carrie's original dark roux. I'm scooping it out with a table fork. I've already discarded the oil that settled at the top once the roux cooled and I'm putting it onto a plate. The reason why I do this is I like to try to take the chunks out of it. I go ahead and use the fork to mash up the chunks so that way it'll make it easier to dissolve in the water. You can do this uh, that way if you have any little chunk in there it might want to settle at the bottom. You do need to continuously stir. We're going to go ahead and add in the roux at this point but you're going to want to make sure and continue to stir until the roux is completely dissolved because if any little chunk settles at the bottom it'll want to continue to cook and you don't want that to burn. So we'll add in our roux, stir it in, uh, I'll go ahead and increase the heat a little bit, get it to a boil, um, but watch it closely. And we're going to cook it until the roux dissolves. Once all the roux had, has dissolved, I like to take a spoon and check to see how thick uh, my, my roux is in my water and, um, and chicken broth just to go ahead and see if I want to add any more in, if I'd like it to be thicker. If it's right where I want, I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my onions and my bell peppers. Like I said, you, whenever you're adding the roux in, your, your vegetables are going to put out water. Your uh, meat and sausage are going to put out water. If you're cooking a seafood gumbo, the seafood will put off water. So it's going to increase the amount of water that you have in the pot. But I like to, at the beginning, get it close to what I want the finished product to look like. Here I'm adding in my uh, two cloves of minced garlic. Here's my sausage, my one pound of pure pork sausage. And then I'm going to start adding in my chicken. For my chicken, I season them with our all-purpose Cajun seasoning. That's uh, by Carrie's Rue, all-purpose Cajun seasoning. Uh, and then I took the thighs and I cut them once long ways. The chicken's going to cook. It'll want to break apart a little bit, but that one cut's going to make it to where your finished product will have bite-sized pieces in it. We'll get all that added in and get this back up to a boil again. Now, whenever you season the chicken, I, we each season a lot of things by eye. I don't have a measurement for that. Uh, my, the best advice I could give is go ahead and season those thighs where you would feel comfortable with it. And then, if anything, a little bit less. Once the gumbo is cooked or almost cooked, you can and make sure that the chicken and sausage is cooked, you can go ahead and taste the, the broth and see if you want to add any more. We've, cooked, we've gone ahead and cooked the gumbo for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. I'm checking the chicken to see, make sure that it's cooked through and through, that it's tender, as it is, and it is. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add in my chopped green onions and chopped parsley and let them cook in the gumbo for about 10 or 15 minutes more. The green onion and the parsley add a good bit of depth to the flavor of the gumbo. 
Um, and also it, it adds a whole lot of pretty color. Some people like to add it at the very beginning. I prefer to wait till closer to the end um, whenever the gumbo is almost done cooking. Give that a stir, let it cook for a little while longer, and then the gumbo will be ready to serve. Now that our green onion and parsley has cooked for about 10 or 15 minutes, the chicken and sausage are fully cooked and tender, we can go ahead and we'll get a bowl with rice in it and start serving up some of the broth, the chicken, and sausage on top of that rice. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching today. This is our chicken and sausage gumbo made with our Carrie's Original Roux using boneless, skinless chicken thighs and pork sausage. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you'd like to find more recipes or if you're looking for a place to purchase our products, please go to www.carriesroux.com.